Hello everybody and welcome back for another strategies, tactics and boosts video and this week uh, we have a real um, uh, GP, a real F1 GP so as always we uh, in F1 class we are following uh, real life uh, Formula 1 schedule we are traveling to Japan uh, for this week's GP uh, this means we are racing in Suzuka a lot of times six times uh, twice in every round uh, and we know that Suzuka is a difficult track and almost 50-50 uh, if uh, we are going to have uh, a dry race or a wet race so yeah it's going to be uh, a very interesting event only even if uh, we, we have we had only easy tracks and dry races in all other uh, in all our other uh, races Suzuka by itself uh, would make it very interesting so let's go and see Today we are going to uh, talk about the qualifying round. It's three tracks and we're going to see the strategies uh, we're going to follow there. And uh, so let's go and check out where we are racing for our qualifying round. As you can see, we are racing in Suzuka, 61% chance of rain in our first race. Then it's Monaco with 17% chance of rain. And then two dry races, Imola and Suzuka again. As you can see, no high temperatures. We could say that we have low temperatures. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, we know that Imola is a difficult track suzuka and monaco with rain can be uh can be full of surprises and of course safety cars are back so we know <laughs> we we don't know what will happen in uh every race so uh of course let's not forget you get to know that charles leclerc and sigma the three boosted assets with 20 percent uh, this week for this event and no legendary drivers permitted okay so uh, let's get let's get this thing going and let's start from Suzuka which is mostly a cornering track but we could say that it's a little bit combo mostly it's uh, a cornering track here tire management is very crucial because basically most of the of the drivers uh, will do one lap it's better to go one lap it's faster to go one lap instead of two uh, one uh, pit stop forgive me instead of two pit stops um, all one pit strategies are faster than the two pit strategy but uh, tire management is essential here basically most of the drivers will go 4-3 and 3-4 the stint with four laps will be done with uh, hards well if it's the first thing we can easily uh, do it with mediums and uh, okay we can do it with mediums this is it 4-3 medium medium we can uh, we will race the last uh, the last meters few meters of uh, the third sector without tires but we will be fast because we are going with mediums uh, we are not pushing first in and we are 
with a full power unit for our second steam. We'll talk about it when I show you that strategy. 4-3, uh, hard, medium, if you don't have good tire management. 3-4, medium, hard. Again, last int, 4 laps with hards. Uh, if we go with mediums, probably, not probably, 99% uh, we are uh, ending the race without tires. And this could only work if we are, if we have a big gap between us and the other cars. So, uh, 4 3 3 4, hard, medium, medium, hard. Now, if we have some good tire management, and for me, this is how I'm going to race three in a dry race, three, four, soft, hard. First thing, I'm going to run out of tires before the pit uh, entrance, but by using softs, I will be very fast in the first stint without pushing. So I will charge my power unit and then with 100% uh, in, uh, in my power unit, I can be aggressive and I can be fast with hards in the second stint. The same is, uh, the, the same strategies for my second driver, 4-3, medium, medium. First in, uh, no, no pushing at all. I'm going to, uh, almost no pushing at all. We can push a little bit in some spots and we will end up without tires a few meters, maybe half a sector before the end of, uh, before the entrance of the pit lane. We don't care, it's um, it's faster to go with mediums and go a few meters with zero tires. And then with a full power unit, be aggressive with mediums for the last three laps. So for me, if you ask me, it's soft, hard, three, four, and then four, three, medium, medium. Of course, if you are at the top of the grid, you can easily go two, two, three, soft, soft, medium, or even three, two, two, all softs. First thing, you do exactly the same as in the three, four strategy. And then we go two stints with softs, uh, two lap seats. We are very fast. We are aggressive with our power unit, uh, but we have one extra pit. So Wood, Merlion, TuneIn, probably the best choice here. Uh, to minimize the time loss from the extra pit stop. Of course, there is always this strategy. It's very fast, but we will end up both stints with zero tires in the end. And okay, in our first stint, we don't mind. But second stint, uh, at the end of the race, if it comes to be uh, a very close call, then it will hurt us. It will be <laughs> a disaster. So only if you are sure that it's going to be a little bit, well, let's say an easy, uh, an easy uh, race, you can go for it, it's very fast. And by the way, this could work excellent if in our second stint, a safety car came, then we would finish with, uh, we won't finish with zero tires, but okay, we can hope for uh, <laughs> a safety car for this. So, uh, basically, if you ask me, the best strategies are these two, three, four, soft, hard, and four, three, medium, medium. Alternatively, if you are at the top of the grid, two to three, or even better, three, two, two, all softs. Okay. Now, if it rains, bots will pit in lap four. Uh, this means we want to do the undercut, three, four, uh, for our drivers. Of course, if we have a driver at the top, he will go and pit in lap four. Okay, next one is Monaco. 
and again with 17 uh, percent chance of rain so one bit strategy in Monaco as in uh, as in Japan as in Suzuka uh, is faster than two bit strategy 5-3 hard soft if you don't have good tire management or 3-5 soft hard this would be my last uh, the la my last choice basically the best strategies are 5-3 uh, and 4-4 four, 4-4 four. Four, four, medium medium again depending on your tire management but if you ask me the fastest way to go is 5-3 medium soft don't be afraid to run out of tires in Monaco we go <laughs> it's fast even with zero tires so uh don't be afraid five three even if you don't have the best uh tire management go for it five three medium soft and four four soft medium now if it rains bots will go five three so probably not probably we go four four with uh the drivers that are at the back or in the middle of the grid and 5-3 with a driver that is at the top uh, of the grid and finally our third track for the qualifying round is Imola a dry race so and low temperatures this means one pit stop here is uh, is perfect 4-4 hard if you can't go with mediums you can go for for medium hard and if you have an excellent tire management you can even go for for medium medium now uh if you are in the middle or at the top of the grid you can go for for one driver and the other one soft uh two pit stops soft medium medium or some alternatives with softs uh, depending on your tire management just let me remind you that two pit strategies are more vulnerable from a safety car than one pit strategies so have that in mind if you can go both your drivers with one pit stop it's even better uh, to secure your uh, to secure a better a good result even if a safety car comes so as you can see we have all the uh, variations of two pit strategies this is depending your tire management uh, the choice of the compound if the three stint uh, the three lap stints will be with softs or with uh, mediums okay let's get back to see our tracks Suzuka Monaco Imola and Suzuka again chances of rain in the first two races 61% and 17% um, yeah and that's it you have asked me if Imola will count for a fast lap no the fast lap will be from Spain in both uh occasions opening and final round so uh we'll talk about it in our uh video for opening and final round strategies okay so that's it for today uh thank you for watching the video don't forget to read the description below uh you will find my discord server link uh join uh, the discord server because the new season is coming first of all all the strategies for all the tracks are there available for you 24 7 the new season is coming and whatever news we have we will share uh, the news with uh, everyone on the discord on the server so join uh, and of course you can ask anything uh, about the game don't forget 
also to subscribe to this channel and smash the like button show some love to your favorite content creator and see you next time uh, in uh, my next video best of luck to your races see you